Good morning everyone. Um, we're here today to take you through a quick decontamination procedure. Decontamination is a very important part of the spraying process. And with spray rigs getting more complex um, over the past couple of years and brews, chemical brews becoming more complex as well, it's very important that we get it right. So the first step in the decontamination process is an initial flush. This is best done in the field um, as soon as you've finished your tank load. Most spray rigs these days have an onboard fresh water flush tank. Um, to simply get the machine to flush the fresh water, we flip it a lever across and the pump is now drawing fresh water from the flush tank into the system. The longer you leave it, the harder it is to decontaminate the rig. So after your initial flush in the paddock, step two of the process is what we call the first clean. In this procedure, we will fill the spray tank up to the top with fresh water and any appropriate cleaning agent that you may require. Then we need to flush the system for at least five minutes. So after you've flushed your spray lines for five minutes and open up your boom ends to clean out any leftover residue, it's important that you fill the chemical tank all the way back up to the top and then recirculate the cleaning fluid through the lines for at least 15 minutes and if you're using a particularly nasty chemical you may need to soak it for several hours or overnight is even better. Step three of the process is to now remove all strainers, nozzles, diaphragms, basically anything rubber from the machine and clean them separately in a bucket. One thing that catches a lot of people out is that most filters these days have a quick clean feature on them. While these are handy for seeing if your filters are blocked, they should not be used instead of pulling the screen out and cleaning it properly in a bucket. After we've completed step three and replaced all our equipment, uh, we need to move on to step four, which is called the final clean. Step four really is a repeat of step two, where we need to refill the tank back up put in our tank and equipment cleaner if it's required and give the whole system another complete flush. A lot of people do skip this step but in particularly high risk situations it's very important that we get it right. After we've completed step four we can move on to the last step in the process which is a rinse. All this simply is is putting enough clean water back in the system to give it a final good flush. I hope you've now got a clearer understanding of how to decontaminate a sprayer. We do acknowledge that time is money these days, but to save expensive crop damage down the track, it is a process we need to follow properly.